The world's toughest prison. Is there a fate worse than death? Is there? Why is the world's toughest prison video uh, showing off just a bunch of black people? Is this, there a fate? It's a question I gotta death. ask. Is there a scenario where a criminal would gladly choose capital punishment over life imprisonment? Well, as surreal as it sounds, there are prisons in this world that make the death penalty a merciful sentence. Prisons riddled with unspeakable. I think I would rather have a death penalty than spend my life in prison, regardless. So. That would make your stomach turn. And in this video, I'm going to show you 10 of the worst. So take a deep breath because things are about to get very ugly. Number 10. I took my Black deep breath. Dolphin Prison, Russia. Ask okay. any Russian you know. Oh, it's Russian. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. This is gonna this is gonna make this is gonna take a turn. I already know. This this is about to take a turn. Let's see what he's about to say. No, and they'll tell you that life in any Russian prison is incredibly tough. Yeah. But this high security Black Dolphin prison redefines that quality. Located on the Kazakhstan border, Black Dolphin is one of Russia's oldest prisons, and it got its name from the statue at the front of the building, which the prisoners built themselves. Mm. That's strange, because Black Dolphin is not really known for its freedom. In fact, the only way to X guy gamer 76 cheered uh -huh. X 100 What's up? Russians crazy I mean yeah there's there's not there's not much else to it R Russians there they're a different breed they are definitely a different breed. Escape this prison is by dying. That is the fate of every inmate, because only inmates with life sentences are sent to Black Dolphin. The prison houses oh. about 700 inmates, who together have a murder count of about 3,500. Damn! So 700, right? We do some math. That's like five bodies an inmate. Each inmate got five bodies at least. That, uh, average, average, golly. And equally, that is at least five victims per inmate. I but murder said that. is not the worst skill on their resume. Black Dolphin also houses victims per inmate. But murder is not the worst. Murdered two people, mutilated their bodies, and ate them. He seems like a joy to bring around to the family. <laughs> worst skill on their resume. Black Dolphin also houses cannibals, assault perpetrators of the worst kind, maniacs, terrorists, and pedophiles. Two inmates are oh. forced to share brutally built 50 square foot cells that are secured behind three sets of steel doors. They're brutally built 50 square foot cells. That and I was about to say, these cells aren't brutally built. What makes these brutal? I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a little kid's playpen. There's nothing brutal about these cells. ...are secured behind three sets of steel doors. Damn. And these cells are under 24-hour surveillance, and guards make their rounds every 15 minutes. Damn. The prisoners hardly ever leave their cells. 15 minutes? Bent over at the waist and blindfolded so they can't... But when they do, they're blindfolded and made to walk bent at the waist. This way, they never have a sense of their surroundings. That's hilarious. No prison that's not hilarious, no actually. That's kind of scary. That's kind of that's kind of spooky, but but it's interesting. That's the right word. That was that's very interesting. Cafeteria, as inmates are forced to eat only meals of soup. Is that fucking grilled gorilla feces? Fried gorilla feces. Trust me, I've seen that before because I've been in the struggle. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And bread in their dingy cells. If hell was a prison, then Black Dolphin would be a strong contender. Al de Ciudad Barrios, El Salvador. Now, what could be worse than hell? I'm glad you asked. Allow me to introduce you to Al de Ciudad, the most dangerous prison in all of El Salvador. The okay. reason it is so dangerous is because it houses two of the world's most notorious gangs, the MS-13 and the Barrio 18 gang. Okay. Okay, this is the Sector 2. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Death. Is this a prison? They 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 rock in jukeboxes in prisons. I, I, I'm I'm kind of lost, but it's okay. Often comes without warning if an inmate is not a gang member, and that's why from 2004 to 2015, only gang members were sent to this hellhole. But sometimes being a gang member is not enough, and oh. most of the time they are the least of your concern because the living conditions are so bad and the prison is so over. Is this where they sleep? Why are they hanging crocs in water? I'm, I don't understand. Crowded that getting simple things like food to eat or a place to lay your head could easily turn into a fight to the death with anyone contesting your claim. The prison's reputation for lawlessness and violence is so real that prison guards are terrified of entering the prison. And the result, the entire Dang. prison system is run by the gang members. Number <laughs> wait, wait, so they have a prison for a gang? But the gang runs the prison. So, so who's sending them to prison? 
who's sending them there if the gang runs it? I'm confused. I'm confused. That doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Number eight, Petak Island Prison, Russia. It is called the Alcatraz of Russia for a reason. Damn. And that reason would put the fear of Mother Russia into the heart of the devil. Your island. The island of the damned. I'm scared Sitting of in isolation I'm scared of the cold on the vast too. Nozovero Lake. This tiny island prison houses 193 prisoners, all on life sentences. Unsurprisingly, oh. the inmates are usually the worst of the worst. They're looking for anything. Wait, do they have a TV with a sound bar? I just found out what a sound bar was last week. How do they have a TV with a sound bar? What the fuck? That means they be sitting back and uh, and watching Max and Ruby on the loudest of volumes. That's crazy. Surprisingly, the inmates are usually the worst of the worst. They're looking for anything that could be used as a weapon or a means of escape. And each of them are kept in a small two-man cell for 23 hours every day. Escape is impossible Damn. because inmates are not even allowed out of their cell for any reason. And the one hour they are allowed out of lockdown is spent standing in a cage that they can barely pace in. However, Why? the cherry on this terrible reality. What's the point of getting out the uh, getting out the place then? I don't get it. See, what makes this prison worse than Black Dolphin is the lack of basic sanitation facilities. There are no proper toilets and no proper bathrooms. Inmates do their business in a steel bucket and they find sleep on thin beds. Some have likened the living conditions of Petak Island prison to that of a zoo in winter and that is because oh the Lord. island is surrounded by freezing waters that contribute to the breaking the spirit of their inmates number seven bang Kuang prison bank yeah they would uh, why escape when you can watch tv <laughs> that's, that's, you're so nasty for that he said why escape when you can watch tv Kok, thailand wow. bang Kuang prison is one of the worst prisons on earth for a very specific reason many of its inmates were once tourists but there's 24 in the room, which is really hard, especially just to get to the toilet because everyone's all over them. And because the prison facility is so overcrowded, it's treble because of a government crackdown on drug trafficking. These offending tourists have to cramp up in the same space with prisoners on death row. And the Dang. offenses that could boot you into Bang Kuang are often very trivial. Reading the wrong book, staying in groups of five, or even eating a sandwich in... Did I just hear staying in groups of five can get you arrested? Maybe I didn't I didn't hear that can arrest it. I didn't hear that correctly. My bad. To cramp up in the same space with prisoners on death row. And the offenses that could boot you into Bang Kuang are often very trivial. Reading the wrong book, staying in groups of five. Or what does reading the wrong book mean? How do you read the a, a book with the wrong book? What what is that? Groups of five? You're telling me I can be with death row prisoners for hanging around with groups of five and reading and reading Dr. Seuss? I'll be damned if I'm arrested for Dr. Seuss. Or even eating a sandwich in public could get you a one-way ticket to Bang Kuang. Life in Bang Kuang is beyond harsh for inmates. In the first three months of their sentence, new inmates are required to wear a iron sandwich? chains. To make matters worse, my nigga, do it. Should, should I just use a hot dog bun instead and, and rip the bun in half? It's not a sandwich no more. It's a hot dog bun. Would that? Would I get away with that? The food they're served is often infested with maggots, and Jesus. drinking water is an absolute luxury. But it doesn't end there. Don't think you can just avoid Bang Kuang by being a good citizen or tourist. A couple what? of years ago, a British man was thrown into jail when a Thai gang jumped him. And even though he lost an eye and suffered injuries, he still had to do time in Bang Kuang for fighting back. I'm, I'm, I'm checking off Bang Kuang off the list of traveling places I may go to. I, I just I just can't do it. Nope. Bang Kuang, absolutely not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure y'all have some fantastic citizens out there. I will just not be meeting you. Number six, Gitarama Central Prison, Rwanda. Overcrowding is a common denominator with most prisons on this list, but there yeah. is no prison that has it as bad as Gitarama Central Prison in Rwanda. God is intolerable. Today, it's holding 8,000. In a facility originally designed to hold just over 1,300 inmates, yeah. 8,000 prisoners have been forced to share the space. That's seven times the amount. Why? Why? That literally means everywhere they're walking, they have someone's dingling on their butt. They have no space. And especially since they probably got some long ones out there, and some people might have a two or three inch of dingling in their butt just because they walking around. That's so unfair, bruh. They need to spread them out. The people out, not their cheeks.
inmates. In most cases, finding a spot to lie down on the ground is a luxury, and many inmates are forced to stand up all day or negotiate with those who have claimed portions of the ground. What the hell? And it's not like the ground in dispute is some piece of fine. Are these kids in jail? There's no way these kids are in jail. They look like they're no older than 11 or 12. In real estate, it is damp and more often than not filled with raw feces. Unsurprisingly, this has led to more, what's the word again? Let's say complex issues. Many prisoners have outright died from disease and suffocation. And if you were to mistakenly injure your foot, gangrene would set in and you would either have to cut it yourself, risk death, or watch it fall from your body. But it gets worse than that. There have been several cases of inmates feasting on each other out of hunger. That's not a prison no more. That's just, that's, it sounds like cattle. It sounds like forced cattle. That's what that, that's not, that's not a prison. And the cannibalism could even be worse than I just stated because there is little to no documentation on the activities that happen behind these prison bars. And prison guards have been brainwashed to believe that the prisoners in their charge are subhuman. Last year, 2,000 people died in Rwandan prisons. An overwhelming majority of those deaths happened within the walls of Gitarama Central Prison. Now so that's like a fourth of the inmates or uh, yeah, that's like a fourth of the inmates. Number five, Kamiti Maximum Security Prison, Kenya. What makes this prison immediately stand out from the rest is that it is home to the worst of the worst. Built in 1954 by its British colonizers, the prison was modeled after an old style colonial system to house offenders during a state of emergency declared in October 1952. Today, right. it still has its original gallows and it has gotten even more hellish than it was more than half a century ago. On one hand, it is overcrowded, a prison that should house 12 1,200 inmates has almost 3,000 inmates crammed okay, within nowhere it. Near hand, as last this one. overpopulation has bred serious viral diseases like HIV and AIDS, syphilis, tuberculosis, and a whole plethora of diseases that ordinarily should be under control. Can we stop talking about diseases that affect the penis? Can we please stop it? Like, I know the diseases affect more than the penis, but I'm just saying, like, can we, can we leave dingling genital area alone? Jeez. Even worse is the unending unrest and corruption that plagues the prison system. Since the prison is the government's favorite dumping ground for political dissidents, much of the population is uneducated. This in turn has led to a telephone fraud ring within the prison system where scores of prisoners defraud innocent Kenyan citizens of their money outside the prison walls. Oh. Kamiti Maximum Security Prison is a cesspool of chaos and only the smartest, the bravest, and the most ruthless can survive behind its walls. Number four. So Dildani they robbing prison, normal people? Georgia. They say the prison. How are you still robbing normal people behind bars? How do you get away with that? That don't make sense to me. Better. They say the violence has stopped, but that doesn't take away the terrifying legacy of Guldani Prison. In 2012, a video was leaked by a 35-year-old former prison guard turned whistleblower who filmed the horrors that inmates pass through at the hands of other guards. The video is too graphic to show here, but I can tell you I'd what imagine. they did and had been doing for decades to prisoners. Okay. Every night, random inmates were routinely sodomized with broom handles, and one of such was featured in the- Sodomized? What is sodomized, man? What's the definition of sodomized? Sodomized, have anal intercourse. That's all, folks. Okay, bro. So they get stranger thinged. Is that what that is? The stranger thing scene? Is that, oh, okay, okay, okay the videos. They were often beaten, drowned, their bones purposefully broken, burnt, all at the hands of the sadistic guards. Ah! It was institutionalized torture in the 21st century. A former inmate would recall, they tore off my fingernails, damaged my skull, broke my leg bones, ribs, nose, and teeth. I am 43 years old, but I look like an old man. I often fall down while I am walking. Today, they say the prisons are fine and that the torture has been brought to- This, this is ridiculous. Look at these conditions, man. Oh my lord, they're getting treated treat like pests. A halt, but I doubt you would want no, to- No, they're not. They're getting treated worse than pests because when I had a guinea pig, which I'm pretty sure is considered a pest, that nigga got a luxury cage. I mean, he even had a, he even had the thing, the wheel he could run on. He could get water at any time. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, he was living in luxury. 
should check that for yourself. Number three, Mendoza Prison, Argentina. The top 90 most dangerous convicts in all of Argentina are held in Pavilion 5 of Mendoza Prison. That section is so dangerous that no guard has the balls to enter that section, and they often leave the inmates' meals at predetermined spots around the door. That might sound deviously cool to some, but don't be fooled. Unsurprisingly, the prison has What's a serious mean? overcrowding problem. 1,600 inmates share a facility that was designed for only 600. There are no beds, and prisoners are forced to sleep on the floor. No beds, bro. Y'all can afford 1,600 beds, man. Well, they are often subjected to random, intense, and frequent torture. But it doesn't end there. Toilets are non-existent, as prisoners are forced to defecate in plastic bags and urinate in bottles. There is that is such a horrible idea because you know you know how many gang members out there are gonna poo in the bag piss in a bag and just start chucking around like make a uh make like a uh put like a little hole and they just start squeezing it on each other oh my god bro that's so disgusting existent as prisoners are forced to defecate in plastic bags and urinate in bottles there is a literal sewer of garbage human waste and slime running through the corridors and conditions have become so unbearable that there are reports that prisoners literally sewed their mouths shut in protest demanding better living conditions and yet it still gets worse their food is sludge and those who aren't strong fast or smart enough often go How do they get away with this? How, I don't understand how they get away with things like this. Hungry and die under what the authorities have made a habit of calling mysterious circumstances. Number two, Diyarbakir prison, Turkey. Diyarbakir prison was at the center of one of the most abusive regimes in Turkey in the 1980s and 90s. Thousands of Kurdish men and women suffered horrific forms of torture. And at that time, it was regarded as the worst prison in the world. These days, second worst, but nothing has improved. Second. In fact, you could argue that conditions have gotten worse because in the same prison where the sludges of society are being housed, children are also locked up within. And the torture that these inmates are subjected to ranges from Wait, so they put the worst inmates with kids. Now, who the hell thought that was a good idea? I, t I, I need to know the genius behind that idea. from physical torture to psychological assault. On the more physical, violent side of things, inmates are beaten, violated, maimed, forced to eat excrement and electrocuted by their genitalia. On the more- They put tasers in the cock. They put on the sack. They literally, they literally open up the sack and tase them. Oh my God, man. More psychological dehumanizing side of things, the same inmates are forced to salute the prison director's dog, participate in random mock executions that might or might not ever happen, what? and forced to bathe in the sewers. To show you just how desperate they bathe in poo. To show you just how desperate the situation is, prisoners routinely go on dry fast, protesting prison conditions. And more often than not, these prisoners simply die from starvation. More recently, four prisoners set their bodies on fire. And later on, an inmate set his cell on fire before hanging himself in resistance. Jesus! Number one, camp I don't understand how killing yourself is going to help, though. They they don't care about you, so how does how does, how does does killing yourself help? XGuyGamer76 cheered. X100. Damn. Can I get a damn in chat? Can we just get a can we just get a damn flooding chat? Because that's ridiculous. Camp 22, North Korea. Camp 22 is not North just Korea. one oh prison Lord. facility. It is a series of identity prison camps containing up to 200,000 prisoners and stretched across the length of North Korea. The few extremely lucky survivors have likened conditions in the camp to the atrocities committed against the Jews during the Holocaust. So, so, so North Korea is actively doing what Hitler is doing and they're okay. Is that what I'm hearing? Is that, is that, is that what I just heard? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe I misheard them. thousand prisoners and stretched across the length of North Korea. The few extremely lucky survivors have likened conditions in the camp to the atrocities committed against the Jews during the Holocaust. Starvation is not a novelty. It is every prisoner's reality. Inmates are fed what? a sludge of cornmeal and cabbage every day for the duration of their existence. And to avoid dying of malnutrition, prisoners have to supplement their diet with rats and insects. Rats. Oh my god. 
And then they probably have the Black Plague in there too. It became such an essential part of their diet that rodents literally went extinct. If you know anything about the way rats reproduce, you'll know that that is impressive to say the least. On average, 20 to 25% of the prison population die every year. When inmates aren't dying of malnutrition, the prison guards make their lives into a satirical piece of horror. How does a fourth of the prison die every year? They said 200,000 people. How did, so, so let me do some quick math. 50,000 people die every year? And they just let it slide. Oh my God. Everyone is fair game to the prison guards. Little girls born in the camp are often fed to dogs to train them to be more vicious. Inmates are brutalized as stress relief for the guards. And if they attempt to escape, everyone in their family, even those unaware of their escape attempt, oh, yes. will be tortured. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Like if one person does something bad, they, they associate that one person to your entire bloodline. If your bloodline's still alive, that one person can get your whole family murdered.